Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, I'd like to focus on our discussion on multiple assess. In fact, today's topic is actually a request from you guys. Someone actually sent me an email to ask me to explain the difference between multiple assess and multiplexing. To him, multiple assess and multiplexing seems to be alike. In short, they seem to be multiple user sharing a resource. So he asked, what is the clear distinguish between multiple access and multiplexing? And his question also asked, which is much more effective? So today, my video is basically to address this question. What is multiple access versus multiplexing? This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Guys, I need your help in order to improve the service of this channel. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Thank you so much, guys. Multiple access versus multiplexing. This slide here, I'm going to show the definition of multiplexing and multiple access. Let's start by doing the multiplexing. The definition of multiplexing is multiple signal combined into one signal over a share medium. Okay, we also define multiplexing as the process of transmitting several messages simultaneously on the same circuit or channel. Okay, let's go to the multiple access definition. Several terminals connect to the same transmission medium to transmit over it, over a shared medium. Multiple access are techniques that allow spectrum and power to be shared efficiently among multiple user. In multiple access, more than one simple signal can thus be transmitted as part of a single complex signal and separate out at the receiving end. This is not possible in multiplexing. Okay, I guess once you have read all this definition, you probably can't clearly tell what is the key difference between multiple access and multiplexing. Okay, in short, like what it mentioned over here, it's simply just multiple user sharing a resource. So what is the clear distinguish between multiplexing and multiple access. Okay, let me use this diagram to explain to you. This diagram here shows the process of multiplexing. Okay, so let me use a daily example so that we can understand the use case of this multiplexing. Okay, imagine this is our wireless router at home. So our wireless router actually serves our laptop, our smart TV, our iPad, and also our mobile phone. Okay, so on the other end of the router, in fact, is connected to the optical fiber. This optical fiber actually has a higher capacity, okay, which means that they can carry more data as compared to the four different channels over here. So of this optical fiber, the capacity is actually subdivided into four portions in order to serve your laptop, your smart TV, your iPad and also your mobile phone. So this bottom net is still at optical fiber because all the resource is all going to squeeze into this optical fiber. Okay, so this is the meaning of multiplexing. In short, for multiplexing, okay, all the user is all going to squeeze into one common resource, which is the optical fiber for this case here. As for Multiple access, okay, so for example, these are the guy that using mobile phone, be it 2G, 3G, 4G, or the latest 5G, okay, they don't actually squeeze through any resource. Can you see over here? They have their means of doing multiple access to access to the base station. As compared to the multiplexing, okay, like what I mentioned earlier on, all the four users actually squeeze to one common resource and the bottleneck is on the optical fiber. But in this case here, you can see that there are no common resource that are going to squeeze. 
what they do is basically they use a unique multiple access technique to find a way to access to the base station. Okay, so you can accommodate multiple user in order to access to the base station. So this is the question from the gentleman. He also asked me which is much more effective. Okay, so in short, multiple access is much more effective as compared to multiplexing. As you can see from the diagram, it's very clear that multiple access can accommodate more users as compared to multiplexing. Multiplexing still has a bottleneck. For example, for this case here, the optical fiber is the bottleneck. Okay, communication service provider, okay, like our telco, they must be able to engage multiple pay user over limited resource, which is a spectrum, to make a profit. Okay, imagine the telco need to pay millions of dollars in order to secure the bandwidth for their service. Hence, they must make full use how to accommodate more and more users and also they must be able to clearly make certain profit from it. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.